Hello, Monsters of here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3, part 20 of my Ice Court campaign. Where we're about to pull off Operation Ted. That's Operation Ted. We're not going to pull off Ted. That's that's something very. That's a different operation. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna kill Ted because he's starting to get on my frosty tits. Oh, these Gore Beast chariots are horrible to deal with, but fortunately, because they're in a settlement battle, they're just going to hold back and chill. Which is good for me, and bad for them. Alright, we've got two little sections of our army. There's a small section over here, because this one is going to be joined by Katarin shortly. So she's going to move her boys up, get some shots off there. It's a little bit laggy. Someone said turning off the UI helped. Um... It's a bit better, I guess. Okay, so basically, uh, this army is just going to parade their troops in front of us, like it's it's like a duck range. If we if we if we clock a chaos warrior in the head, we win a duck. That's good. So they're just running backwards and forwards and letting us plink them away. They got 69, 99 health. The sexiest amount of health potentially and then some plague bearers also going to parade themselves and yep let's just just like just keep plinking away i guess guys uh good catherine's force has arrived the reinforcements are here enemy reinforcements are going to arrive shortly uh but it's just one guy so i think i'm, I'm probably okay I, oh god they've actually attacked me Now, the Streltsy do have reasonably good melee attack and armor piercing, but I don't really want them fighting Bloodletters and Chaos Warriors Call. So they're going to fall back and allow my armored Kossars to deal with that little problem. Because my Streltsy are far better shooting people with their axe guns. Um, well, Catherine, Catherine, Bjork, and Father Ted have arrived to help out. Veteran Demon Slayers. Yeah, these demons, not super happy. I don't blame them. Get some good shots in here. Again, these guys just praying themselves back and forth. It's making life very easy for me. Like if they just if they just held back, that would have made life a little bit more awkward, but just yeah. I'm going to send a little command group in. Father Dougal, Jack, Annie, and Anna. Now smashing their way through the hordes. And they're just going to send more and more units to attack us. Which is absolutely fine by me. Because it means that it gives, you know, my guns could just let loose. Okay, over here... Chilling. Chilling it was. Because it was ice. Probably didn't need to explain that, but I did anyway. And more spells coming out there. We're going to do a... A big blizzard. It's sucking off all these blood letters and chaos warriors. And doing minimal damage to our characters. Oh, yeah, no, that... that Yeah, these lads are running away. And now the Ice Guard have arrived as well, which means that we can now put out a huge amount of punishing missile fire. The enemy army is dropping very rapidly. They've lost a thousand. The Streltsy moving up a little bit. Just getting those fantastic shots right into the flank of those Chaos Warriors. They're queuing up to have a go at our command group, but it's not really it's not really helping them very much. Yeah, there. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. How many kills have you guys got? 39, 36, 40, 58. And climbing. 
Okay, we're going to push forward here. I mean, we've killed the Vars. I think they don't really have much left. Like, they've got a few scattered units, but it's definitely not the quite large horde they had beforehand. We've got the Gorby's chariots charging in, but they're not going to do too much damage against characters. Uh, Anna here. How many kills has Anna got? 57. It's not much damage value as gold, though, is it, Anna, eh? That's, you killed a lot of people, but not actually... Feels like you're kill-stealing a little bit. Mind you, I, I imagine a lot of the damage is done by the, the Streltsy, right? How much damage have you guys got, just out of interest? Streltsy, damage value 6. Okay, not much more than I thought, actually. Uh, but you can see the large pile of dead bodies here suggests that maybe they shouldn't keep funneling units into into here but I, I guess if that's what they want to do that's fine I don't you know never interrupt your opponent when he's making a mistake okay the ice guard now moving up we're gonna send Catherine Bjork and father Ted in to take this objective over here while we continue to try and uh, batter down the front gate the AI is not very good at like deploying itself and pulling you into the defences. It, it tends to just keep throwing shit at you and hope that you die before it does. Um, I, I kind of think it has it has two problems. The first is that it's not a particularly good way to do a siege in a defensive. And secondly... It makes the AI look stupid. Like, if they just held some units back, maybe pulled back certain positions, that would be sensible. But they just keep fun... Like, they just... They, at no point do they go, right, this is lost, we need to pull back. They just keep funneling units in to try and maintain their defensive line. And uh, sometimes that's just not a good option. There are some exalted plague bearers moving in, but the ice guards raining fire down on their heads. We're taking this little objective here. We do have one, uh, what's his name? Blood letter guy. This, this blood reaper. That's it. A blood, we've got a blood reaper who is trying to hold us back, but we've taken that objective easily. And the, these auto plague bearers are just going to go, uh, down under a hail of magic ice arrows. Meanwhile, over here, Ulk, Ulkuhu, is currently fighting Annie. Apparently, all the boys are busy dealing, and they've let the girls just go at each other. Which is nice, but Annie is not really... Yeah, there we go. Come on. Look. I don't want a white knight or anything, but Annie is not really a melee girl, so let's just get her out of there. To be honest, Elugu does not seem to be taking a huge amount of damage, so uh, we'll drop a... drop a Death Frost... And due to her very small health pool, should find that uh, things do not go very well for her. Yeah, she is... She's out of here. Annie got the last laugh with a death frost. And that looks like the rest of the army is then going to disintegrate. Rather than face us. Ah, right. Operation Kill Ted's is a go! He's the play, gold sigil sword, a servant apparently, uh, and you've all got play. Jesus! Alright, alright, calm down. Good grief. Good grief. Well, I don't really care. Are you guys at war with each other? I'd really like it if we could be... Fr I don't... Look, I don't... Look, 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 look. Okay, it's probably not... We're probably not going to make friends ever. It's probably not going to happen. That's probably... Uh, it's unlikely anyway. We'll pin it under unlikely. Boris Ursus himself. So we've got some skill points here. Let's go. Mm. I I do want to give you Zargard. 
Because I think you actually do give bonuses to Zargard. Uh, Red Zar. More bear riders. Wasn't there a bonus or something for Zargard? Or the bear... Ah, oh, there we go. Weapon strength. Uh, I mean, it's fine. We'll go Foe Seeker. And I want you to have 1k Excellent. weapon strength. Thank you. Let's get more seagulls because they're dicks. And you know what? Having more magic items so we can make them kiss. It's never a bad thing. Let's go impassioned. Talking of magic items and making them kiss, do we have... All right, that is that is garbage. A primeval club. Ooh, that is an aura. Who has that? Father Ted. Oh, that does make sense. The emerald collar is really nice, so I don't want to get rid of that. Uh, these these things are kind of garbage. Sniper's cape. What's a sniper's cape? Sniper's cape. Oh, is it maybe? Is it maybe one of these? A bull standard. Bull gut. You get devastating flanker. Which is interesting. I found it. It's a banner. It's fine. Okay, so we need to we need to continue to squash Ted's because otherwise uh, I'm never gonna get this shit done. We need to give this back to these guys as well because Stalton hasn't moved, which is fine. We can send you to help it. Uh, Erin Grads should be fine. He says, maybe I need, basically I just, I need at least like another army minimum, Castelton, and then another army. That would be fine. I think I could live with that. I don't think that's going to happen though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but as long as it's not Ted, I don't actually care all that much. The Frozen Kingdom welcomes all its allies. Even if they're on their sides. Nope. Not going to help you there. Oh, that's not good. That's very bad. Because that means Scarbrand no longer has anyone to keep him entertained. More money from ports, please. Uh, no, I have to stick to my guns. I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm just going to go for it. If we hang about and worry about dealing with every single army that comes our way, I'll never fucking get anywhere. Okay. Let's do this, because that'll give us more money. And then I can use that money to potentially... I know who you are. Let's get some bear chariots. Fuck it. All right, Ted doesn't have that many settlements, so it shouldn't be particularly difficult. God, I wish Erin Grad had more of a garrison. That does not feel like enough. It's maxed out, but... I just feel like, you know, more stuff would be even better. Oh, well. Sod's Law. Do we know you have three Atomans? Is that all we have? Maybe I don't worry about this. Maybe I just... I go for we get... Right, so we give... Hello. Not even consider questioning my authority. I wouldn't dare. You have that. 
and give me all your money. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You know what? I actually want to check this. So what does what is the bonus for this? Relative so baseline evaluation is 40. Now I was checking this for Meow Meow as I was, and I'm playing Xiao Ming at the moment. And hers is like minus 95. And I don't know if that's like normal. I mean she is a major faction. Still. Demon Slayer. But still, I want to give you some Zargards. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford it, though. But killing... Yeah, we just need to kill Ted. Kill Ted, and then we can... We can retake Aaron Grads and Kislev and Prague if we need to. Um, sure. Oh, shit, there's two stacks of fucking ogres running around. Oh, I'm going to have to deal with them. I'm going to have to. I can't just leave them dicking about in my territory. It's really irritating. Look how fucking far away they are. I mean, okay, they've got a settlement over there, but they've just bypassed everything to come and get me. It's so fucking annoying. All right. would like to kill you, but you're going to be able to run away. Roll out. Guarantee they'll just leg it in the other direction as well. I know I know. I keep complaining about Warhammer 3, and I don't want to. I want to be positive about it, but it's just exhausting having to deal with these issues, and they haven't been fixed. We're still waiting. It released in February... We're now in fucking May, and they still haven't fixed these these glaring, obvious issues. It's just... Oh, okay, let's get immortality. You're just like, why, 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 why haven't you fixed this? Is it not pretty obvious that this is an issue? Is that just me? Uh, death Frost is good. Ice Sheet is good. More Death Frost is 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 gooder. Uh, that's gonna be nineteen. We could get rid of one of you. Uh, let's get rid of one of the, the Cossars, actually. Let's do something like that. I don't need that outpost upgraded. It just it just feels like things like the player bias, the incredibly aggressive and yet terrified of fighting Annie? No. Oh, you motherfuckers. Yeah, see, they've buggered off. They have fucking legged it. You are but a peasant. No higher authority. Okay, if I come down here, I think they should attack me. They are one people. I think. Probably. Then we can knock out that cow. I mean, the thing is, while their armies are here, like, they should be losing so much shit. Because there's nothing to stop the AI from just running over them. Because they're so... But, uh, but then it seems like the minor factions have been nerfed to the point where they're, they're basically just punching bags. Unless they're fighting the player. Do not carry... Do not receive. Uh, do you want a primeval club? You've got one. Do you have a quest? Oh, you do. The Burning Brazier. I guess we don't have that quest. And you don't have it for some reason. Do you not have it? Uh, nope. Nope, we did not. We did not pick that one up. We did not pick that one up. Uh, category is probably the better option. 
Uh, is that better? Magical attacks and... Fl you've already got flaming and magical attacks. So, I'm going to say no. I actually th probably think that's better. So, I guess... I guess... I guess you're as good as you're going to get. So... I that is a fairly terrifying army. However, you do, if I don't click on the right button, you do have a fairly beefy garrison there to come and sort of help you out. Hopefully we can lure in some people there. I forgot to move Boris. That's fine. Uh... Okay, I mean, sure, why not? So we're reinforcing the, I don't know, order of good guys, I guess. As the bloodthirster lands right in the midst of these hammerers, I summon an elemental bear and then the dwarves roast it. Thanks. Thanks, guys. It's only a giant ice bear. Don't worry about, you know, setting it on fire. Never mind. It looks like... Oh, yeah. Minotaurs also charging in. We're kind of bringing up the rear. We're going to let the... Our allies... Take the brunt. And then we will assist from the rear. Seems only fair. Now, I, I've, I've heard that anything with explosive damage is ludicrously powerful. I mean, this, this Bloodthirster does seem to be in a lot of trouble. He seems quite sad. Yep, he's on fire. It's like he's trying to get away. Uh, as, geez, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I like setting things on fire. That is a lot of fire, though. That's, uh, that's a lot of shit that's on fire. There's a big blob of enemies here. Blood letters, exalted blood letters, minotaurs. It's a big horde of red angry men. I think my elemental bear has bought the farm, but he was a freebie, so no biggie. Our cavalry getting a charge in from the rear there. They're now surrounded. Although, having said that, I think they might have killed all of the infantry on the front. So they're not really surrounded. They're more now attacking from the opposite direction. Either way, the cavalry coming in from the rear does mean that we've pinned them in place. And the Iron Drakes can do a catastrophic amount of damage. The Zargard then moving in to help out. Keep those demonic hordes at bay. You can got the the is it Phoenix Guards? Phoenix Guards. Fighting side by side there. That's really cool. Phoenix Guard and Hammerers and Zar Guards. Defending the line against hordes of demonic entities from another dimension. But we definitely have the upper hand with the Bloodthirster leading this horde dead. It's just a case of mopping up what's left. I mean, the, the spawn of corn will fight until the end. But the Blood Letters, well, they're looking quite sad. Plus, they're getting pelted by ice arrows and shit. Yeah, we're closing the noose with the Blood Letters disintegrating. And the spawn of corn being pulled down. God, they really do throw their troops away, don't they? Never mind. Uh, let's take the cash, because that's a lot of money. Oh, at least that's one problem dealt with. 
I mean, that's another problem. At least I think he is in range. Okay, we're spotted. I sacked that one. The settlement under which settlement's under siege? Oh my god, have they got three fucking stacks of ogres. Jesus. Which one is sieged? Oh, well, I don't care. To be honest, with that army and that garrison, I have to question why you're even bothering to lay siege, but knock yourself out, I guess. Alright, let's deal with you. Can I just auto resolve this? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, sniper's cape. I guess I'm going to put that on. I don't know, one of you. Sure. They will serve the mother. We'll take the replenishment. Born to rule. You will be fine. Jesus, there's so many ogre characters all over me. Uh, okay, let's go to Zoyshnik. I might have to just send Katarin by herself. Does it? Is is the bear in the room now? What's it telling you to do? Is it hibernate? You could always hibernate. I'm just throwing that out there. If you want a little nap, feel free. I guess missile resistance? I guess. Right. Okay. Okay. I mean, if we... We've wiped out one army. There's there's at least there's two there, which means they, you know, re realistically, how many armies do they have? I've got three stacks. And I'm very much... Oh, I should have downloaded that mod, the, the player bias mod, and I didn't, and I should have. I keep meaning to, and then I forget. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest, guys. Don't know why you didn't do that before. A mysterious benefactor. Uh, what does this do? Melee attack 5%. Mm, nah, I want money. You are, oh, you're besieging me, are you? It says Pyrrhic victory. You do have a f fuck ton of artillery. It says Pyrrhic Victory. How many would die? Just you. Oh god, I'm really tempted to just auto resolve this. Just because the amount of fucking scrap launchers they have is going to be annoying. Fuck it. Oh, a dragon horn. You know I love me a dragon horn. I deserve a larger retinue. Only the most skilled may Then you're getting one, buddy. Actually. I accept. Only loyal men. Let's do that. March. If you want some, Ted, bring it. I am you know what, Castelton, you're with you're with Catherine. We need to smush these camps. Uh how are we looking up here? This seems fine. Just have a look over here. Kugath has been weirdly quiet and it's concerning me. Kugath, what are you doing, buddy? Are you at war with... No. Who are you at war with? 
Those guys, Zuthbar, Ostermark, I, I'm, I'm genuinely confused about what Kugath's up to. It's been... It's been very relaxed. Uh, let's, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous now. I'm going to send you over there. Uh, do you? Do you really? Father Jack. Do a little conviction, I guess. And sure. Let's go with that. Okay. 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 Operation Kill Ted. It, 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 look. I was going to put you with, uh, with you, wasn't I? Getting Castaltin. Not literally, just figuratively. I don't care about that. Outposts. Okay, if I build you, will you leave me alone? I've got a lot of money and I don't know where that's come from, but good, I guess. Yes. Yes. It, why are you all throwing yourselves at... No. I mean, one, you didn't want to be my friend, and then I couldn't get any dwarves. Another. Talk of the devil. Boris Ursus himself. Uh, if we I go, go about here, I reckon they're going to go for Novichozzi. They're going to go for Novichozzi. Tutored by ice. You can catch... Oh, uh, you know what? Let's... Only I spread okay. Throat. Go in the army. Make haste, fools. I am Constantin. I know who you are. March. March. Okay, you come over here. Ted is going to run away because he's a meal to Orson. Because he's a knobhead. What fool dares touch me? I touch you, you stupid melon. Oh god, that's a lot of Gorby's chariots, though. Now, Ted. There is something to be said about leading from the back. The Skaven have learned this. I mean, look what we've just done to Exalted Bloodletters. They are... They're not very exalted anymore. And with them dead, now you're... You're basically the... Yeah. Okay. Well, Ted, um... Good luck, mate. I think you're going to need... Oh, oh no. Oh, te oh, Ted. Oh, dear. That is some extreme acupuncture. Jesus Christ, mate. Okay, well, Ted is... Well, he's dead. As is tradition. Every single fucking time. Every single fucking battle. The Griffin Legion charging in to the Gorby's Chariots on the right flank, trying to keep them at bay. We're under attack by the Furies as well. That is less than ideal, but I have nothing else to use to deal with that problem. The Gorby's Chariots are an absolute fucking nightmare. The Chaos Fury is actually absolutely terrifying. They will do a lot of damage if you let them. We really need to, like, just pick them off as quickly as possible. Get them dealt with. Father Ted has engaged a horde of Exalted Plague Bearers and Chaos Warriors. He's a little bit surrounded here, but that's fine because... Uh, I don't know. I'm not really that bothered what happens to him. I mean, it's not obviously fine for him, but... For me, it's 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 fine. We've used Crystal Sanctuary on our front line. That has stopped the Gorby's chariots from breaking through our infantry. They are not doing very well against that. And that's giving time for our Ice Guard to pick off every single other unit. I mean, with Ted dead, this is um, this is not going to go their way. However, our right flank is looking a little bit under pressure. With Ice Guards and Zar Guards trying to fend off these Chaos Warriors.
Those Gorpy Chariots will do a lot of damage if you let them, and very quickly as well, so we really need to pick them off. The Griffin Legion doing great work. One of the units took a horrific amount of damage, but they did manage to pick off both of those units. I think the Furies did most of the damage, actually. The Gorby's Chariots, not actually too problematic to deal with. And it looks like we do actually have a mass route on our hands. We managed to fend off... I mean, Ted's... Ted's... I, I, you know, it's not the first time I've gunned you down before you've even reached our lines. I feel like maybe you should switch up the tactics. Do a, do a zigzag. Zig, zig, is it, yeah, do a zigzag. Okay, not too bad. One of the horses took a bit of damage there, but... Gets some replenishment. Fix them up. And then in camp, and we can get even more. And we're on our way. We're in. We're, we are in Ted's territory. We're inside Ted's territory. Anna is hopefully going to be able to shut down these camps that have been. They've just been pooped out. Damn right. Camps are very hard to keep alive, in my opinion. And we've killed three of their armies. I'm hoping that maybe we can get a little pushback here with any luck. Uh, but that'll have to wait until... Good. Next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.